I'm not going to pretend that A Hazard of Hearts is my kind of film ordinarily. This was a TV film released in 1987, uh, based on the novel by Barbara Cartland with a screenplay by Terence Feely and directed by John Ho or Hoff. I'm not sure, I apologise if I've mispronounced that. I watched this simply because Helena Bonham Carter's in it and for that aspect I liked it. I think if this is your kind of film it is something you will really enjoy because it's really very well done. If you're into period dramas and things I think you'll like it. I found the narrative relatively interesting but because it's not my kind of thing it was a little bit gentle and a little bit too slow paced for me. But there were other aspects that I found really engaging. So I'll read the description from IMDb, which will give you a chance to kind of realise just really briefly what this is about without having to read the novel. As I said, haven't read the novel. If you have read the novel and you know of any differences uh, anywhere where they've taken creative licence, do let me know. I'd be really interested to know know, what differences are. Um, This one, the description is, it's quite long, so I might stop reading it at some point. Um, But it says, when compulsive gambler Sir Giles Stavely has lost his estate and all of his money playing dice, he realises that he only has one thing left of value, his daughter Serena. In a final game, he stakes his daughter's hand in marriage. I I will leave it there, I won't carry on, but you can probably imagine how that final game turns out at the beginning of the film. He's basically just put up his daughter. Um, His daughter, of course, being played by Helena Bottom Carter. Uh, And Serena's a lovely character. One of my favourite things about Serena is or her outfits she has the most beautiful outfits in this and I know that seems like a superficial thing to love but the costumes are just absolutely incredible across the board but specifically for HBC's character costume is Brenda Dabbs and Don Mothersill for those who are interested and for me especially this this kind of pink dress she has in a bonnet and it's, it's beautiful to look at. And also the setting, the scenery, so stunning. And where the narrative didn't always pique my interest because it's just not my... It, you know, it's quite slow. It, 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 it's slow because it's gentle. If that makes sense, I hope it does. But the scenery is so beautiful. It's, it's gorgeous to look at. The acting's well, very good. Um, obviously... Obviously, HBC stood out for me exceptionally, not just because of her acting, but because of those beautiful costumes. Um, but we also have Diana Rigg, Edward Fox, um, Christopher Plummer. Really good cast, very good casting all around, great chemistry on screen. Some very sentimental camera angles, um, you know, some nice close-ups, some beautiful nature, especially in the gardens. The Narrative itself, as I said, a bit slow-paced for me, but in terms of the actual outcome and how it develops, I'd say it's fairly interesting. A little bit predictable. Not 100% predictable, um, but it was good. I liked it enough that it kept me engaged until the end, but I probably wouldn't watch it again unless I was just watching it for HBC's scenes, which I would probably just do on YouTube. I'm sure someone just uploaded the trailer or something. Hazard of Hearts is a sweet film. Well received, 7.1 out of 10 on IMDb. It's a film I'd recognise if you're into romantic dramas. It's a film I'd recommend if you're into Helena Bonham Carter. For the genre, it gets it right.